Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today we're going to take a look at Consensus Deep Search. Imagine asking a complex research question and getting a full, structured, cited review in just a minute. That's exactly what the new Consensus Deep Search delivers. And today I'm going to show you how it works and why it's such a breakthrough for educators, researchers, and lifelong learners. So what is Deep Search? Deep Search is a powerful research agent that scans across more than 200 million academic papers. Instead of just giving you a list of articles, it actually conducts a literature review for you. It summarizes findings, surfaces key evidence, and even highlights research gaps. So how does it work? Well, here's how it works. Deep Search takes your research question, breaks it down into over 20 targeted sub-questions, and reviews a thousand plus papers from there, it organizes the findings into a structured, cited report with clear visuals, authors, and sources, all in just a few minutes. Now, why does it matter? Well, it matters because this isn't just about saving time. Deep search accelerates your path from question to understanding. Whether you're preparing a class, writing a paper, or exploring new ideas, it helps find the evidence that matters most while revealing authors and research trends you might otherwise miss. So from an educator's focus, let's try an example together. Get an account on Consensus and sign in. This is my question or query, Impact of Immersive Technologies on Student Learning Outcomes. And the reason is that I teach immersive technologies to MSc students at a distance, and I would like to know the impact of learning. Notice I'll go into the filters past two years is what I usually have. You can keep this or you can change it for each query. Citations, in this case, five. I want to ask the papers. So I'm going to ask for open access and then I can ask paper. Only papers with open access and PDF can work. And I think that's it. Methodology, I'll leave that, but you can take a look at these other filters. So I've got five filters right now. And I'm in deep search, going to hit the uh, blue here and the arrow pointing right and wait for the magic to happen. And it's happening. Now, you don't have to wait around. You can go about your way and get notified by email when it's done. Now, notice the visual reports, 953 retrieved across all searches before any filtering, 412, <laughs> notice here, left after removing duplicates and those with missing abstracts, and then 314 counter papers that have high semantic relevance to the original query, and 50 count of the final most relevant and highest quality papers included in the analysis, which is a lot. And notice here what else you get, initial survey and search strategy, one search, four filters. And uh, notice foundational theories, rephrase of, for terminology, and you get a report on that, zoom in on context. All of these reports are visually available for you. So let's turn that off and take a look at the center. Now, what other information you get here? Under deep search, consensus deep search, you get an introduction here. Because this isn't just about research, it's about learning. And notice these citations. 
and the ones with open access. Notice number 21. If you hit the open access, the one with the tick, you're able to see the full text and have a conversation. So let's take a look at it. Notice you can ask this paper questions and the paper is integrating immersive technologies with STEM education, a systematic review. You get the date, the authors and so on. And then you can ask questions. You also get the references and citation. So my question is, notice that we're going into the full text. It's loading. So I can ask these if you can't think of a question. Uh, what would you like to know about this paper? Summarize the paper in a few sentences. Uh, were there any conflicts of interest? Did the authors mention any limitations? Now, you'll probably get no, and, and if it's no, you're not going to get very much. But let's go into summarize in a few sentences so that we get to see what it's about before we ask questions. We could also read it, of course, but before we read it, we might want to get some background information. Asking questions like, please elaborate anything. And then you'll get an elaboration. If you need that, you might, if you're an EFL teacher or if English is not your first language, you might want to ask for further explanations so that you get a better understanding. And notice here you're getting a report. Do immersive technologies improve student learning based on all the papers that were reviewed? So notice here, yes, 74%. Possibly. And mixed, you get all this information. You can also get details and get a better report here. Yes, and you can see where the yes came from and the reason for it. Notice 34 papers, high quality. Okay, so you're getting all this information. Possibly, you're getting five papers on possibly mixed and so on, which is super important. And no, because you want to know about that as well. We also get uh, main effects on learning outcomes, the results. You're getting information on that, some more open access papers with PDF where you can ask questions, limitations. So this has been summarized for you by Deep Search on Consensus. And notice all this very, very important information that you're receiving. You can also ask follow-up questions, more limitations. Okay, I might want to add that. And then again, you'll get, according to your filters, of course, if you want to change that, you may change that. You'll get more information on that. And notice cognitive load and learning efficiency and some of the key limitations, technical and pedagogical, as well as accessibility challenges, and there are a lot. And of course, research and implementation gaps. Okay, there's an open access and conclusion. So notice again, you are getting a lot of information and I can go through all of this in hours because you learn so much by conducting deep search. As an educator or researcher, you could take these reports and bring them directly into your lesson planning academic writing, or grant proposals. The visuals make it easier to explain complex findings, and the citations are ready to use in APA or other styles. If you want to experience faster, smarter, evidence-based research, give consensus deep search a try. The link is in the description. Enjoy your free month and see how it transforms your workflow. For free users, you get three deep searches per month during the beta. For pro users, you get a hundred deep searches per month during the beta. So why are you waiting? Try consensus. You'll love it.